Netflix has been killing it with their documentaries lately. First, they came out recently with A Girl in a Picture, which was excellent. Probably one of the best documentaries I've seen in a long time. Recently, they just came out with E.B. Cooper, Where Are You? It was a four-part series, a four-part documentary, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to be giving a follow-up video to that shortly, so stay tuned. But now Netflix is about to release a new documentary. It's called The Most Hated Man on the Internet. This one is interesting. <laughs> This documentary is about the notorious Hunter Moore. Hunter Moore was a self-proclaimed professional life ruiner. He started a revenge porn website called isanyoneup.com. This is a website where he would post nude and illicit photos of men and women for revenge purposes. Look, I don't know if you're being a jerk on purpose just to prove you have the right to be a jerk, but either way, you're being a jerk. He, of course, gained a cult following, and people couldn't wait to see the next life that he was about to ruin. He thought he was invincible, and he thought there would be no accountability whatsoever. Apparently, he was wrong, according to the trailer. I want to roll the trailer, but first, if you like what I do here, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to smash the reminder bell. Let's roll the trailer. I woke up. You know, you, you wake up, you look at your phone, 200 notifications. There uh -oh. I was, topless, multiple photos. It was an absolute shock. Shit, I got posted on the site. Isanyoneup.com. I felt violated. Humiliation. That site was about destroying lives. Who would create a website like this. This is Hunter Moore from isanyoneup.com. Fucking all your girlfriends. Oh, man. Hunter Moore, also what a known monster. as the most hated man on the internet. And his website is anyone up. Me and my friends would just post a bunch of girls, and I was like, yo, I can make money out fucking people over it. He thought of himself as the king of revenge porn. He made it appear that you would be very successful by being a complete sociopath on the internet. And it pissed me off. I yeah, pleaded I with him to please remove these images, and the response that I got, LOL. Has there been any individual wow. you've just felt sorry for to the point that you take something down? No. It's just too much fun. But the one thing he didn't anticipate was Charlotte Laws. Uh, he it came always catches my up daughter. to you. He needed <laughs> to be brought down. If he feels threatened by somebody, he won't let it go. Dude, without bullying, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> Hunter had a set of followers who I think were deranged. And I felt like they're really coming after me now. He was escalating and escalating. I had one goal, get the site taken down. It's gonna get a lot worse. He was planning something even more dangerous. He didn't expect any accountability. Hunter, what do you have to say? With all the mouth, with all the Oh, now he has nothing to say. You have Shocker. the power to ruin someone's life with just one click. I don't know why all these people, you know, hate me. I'm just making money off your nude pictures. Uh, I think you just answered your own question. Man, what an a-hole. I can see why this guy was the most hated man on the internet. He's just a creep. You are scaring me! Anyway, I'm not here on this channel to really make a decision on whether what he did was right or what he did was wrong, or was he a monster? Uh, were these women irresponsible, and some men irresponsible, for allowing themselves to have nude photos out there that could ultimately be posted on the internet? That's not the point here. The point of my channel is to determine whether or not this is something that I plan to watch, and is it something that you plan to watch? I think we can all be disgusted by a person like this, even if you do have those photos to use them as revenge towards other people simply to make money i didn't know that there was going to be money involved yeah it's probably well it definitely shows a lack of character on his part i'm curious to see what happened i want to wait until this documentary comes out to find out exactly what happened to hunter Moore. i don't want to go and research it on the internet to ruin it because i'm very interested in this documentary i'm curious to know what your thoughts are leave your comments below and i just might read them on my next video now now, I want to follow up to a video that I made just a few days ago. I did a reaction video to the trailer for Fall. This is a movie that's coming out shortly, and it's about a young woman named Becky who's a rock climber with her dad. Apparently, her dad falls and dies while she's watching, while she's rock climbing with him. 
About a year later, a friend of hers, Hunter, comes to Becky and says, it's time for you to get over your fears. I have a climb I think we should do. They end up going to a 2,000 foot tall radio or television tower, and that is what they're going to climb. Now, if a young lady watched her dad fall, maybe she would get back into climbing. I don't know. Everybody's different. But where this movie lost me, once they got to the top of the tower, there was a loose bolt on the very top of the ladder, which caused the entire ladder to separate from the tower and fall, thus leaving them stranded on top. And of course, on top of this tower, there's no cell phone service. There's no way to reach the emergency people. There's no way to reach the first responders to come save them. So they have to figure out a way to get down off this tower. That's just not realistic. It's outside my willing suspension of disbelief. I believe in things, real things, tangible things. In my original reaction video, I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna pay for this movie, but when it does come across a streaming service, I'll probably watch it. I think I changed my mind on that. This movie is just too ludicrous. I don't think I want to waste 90 minutes or whatever of my life on this movie. I'm going to go ahead and pass it by. Again, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Leave your comments below and I just might read them on my next video. Until next time, put your cell phones away and enjoy the show. Mm -hmm.